when you want some Amazon packaging. You're on. Hi, my name's Tina and I'm a Fun Palace maker. I'm also lucky enough to be a trustee of Ware Art Centre, which runs this fabulous building known as the Southern Maltings. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make um, a document wallet to keep either random posting or bits of paper or um, leftover birthday cards out of some smiley face packaging. Um, I've chosen to do it with wallpaper. You can choose to do it with uh, wrapping paper or random bits of paper. Um, basically, we're going to glue the papers on, do some decoupage, leave it to dry, and come back later and finish it off. Um, so I've got my, um, my piece of smiley, smiley packaging paper, um, which is the standard one that the books come in. Um, and before I start, what I'll do is to show you a couple that have been made before. This one was made by um, another Fun Palace maker, um, which has got a ribbon to tie it. And a little pocket inside for some tags. And this is one that I made previously, um, which just holds paperwork. Um, and the whole thing was um, just glued on and then uh, PVA'd uh, to give it um, some strength and washability, really. Um, so we start with our, um, our packaging and I've decided to make one a bit like the blue one uh, today, which has got a pocket in it. So I need to take off one of these um, pocket flaps and it's just a simple case of Peeling off, okay. peeling off your paper and then um, gluing down uh, your pocket to create it. Um, and then on the, on the side where this would normally be, you've got another tab of card that you just need to take off so you get a nice smooth surface. Um, what I'm going to do to start with is to, um, is to use the wallpaper that I've chosen uh, to stick it to it before I put it together. So I just want to, to line it up to make sure where I'm going to put things before I then trim it to size. So the outside of that is going to look like that. And I just need to, I'm going to overlap the edges just to make sure that I've got a nice a clean edge uh, and then I'm going to trim down um, the flap that goes on the inside um, so taking a pair of scissors and just trim First things first, um, you can use normal um, normal PVA with this, um, but I'm going to use um, Mod Podge, which is very similar to PVA, um, but comes in different um, different finishes. So um, stuff that I'm not going to see, I'm going to use the matte finish, um, and then the stuff that goes on the outside that everyone's going to see, I'm going to seal with the glossy finish so it's a bit more wearable. So you just slap your PVA on. I hope it all goes right, I'm not going wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> Figure it out as we go along. This is true. Am 
ไม่มีกระนั้นพลาดไม่เสียตัวไม่ใส่ตัวเป็นต้องสุดตาสามสี่สองสามสี่I suppose this is a bit like going back to watching Blue Peter and covering things in sticky back plastic, but mm -hmm. just with a bit more effort and a bit more personality to it. Yeah. Although we're not having to stick it in the next part, so that's a good thing. And we're not doing it like, oh, maybe I'll do it. I just need to turn that bit there because I just don't know if I'm going to just do it tight. Okay. So we can pass the last sticky thing in that paper. So, if I turn it over, you can see that's quite well glued onto that area. And then I've got my full opening on the outside, and the other half is going to be on the inside. Um, so then it's a case of working out where to put the folds to get you. I think I'm just going to go I'm going to trim off the excess that I don't want. It's quite a really nasty one that's showing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we're going to decorate the inside with um, a different piece of paper, I think. Um, but it's all just kind of working it out as you go along. Didn't glue that bit, look. I'm working out what you think it's going to look like and how you want it to look. I find that it is an ongoing process anyway. Yes. I just start off thinking, oh, do it like that, and then you look at it and go, no. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to take another piece of, um, piece of my wallpaper. work out what image I want to put along the next bit. I like this wallpaper because it's got lots of straight tile bits on it. It makes it easier to cut. I was cutting along a page of words earlier and I thought, oh, this is really easy because I can just go between the lines. Okay, 
So I've got a nice neat edge on this. I'm actually going to use my paper trimmer. Shooting that my paper clips in my paper trimmer. Another thing. the floor off camera. Okay, what's your question? Because my wallpaper wasn't wide enough. Okay. Because that's from a piece of, well, from, that's a width of wallpaper. And it would have got, probably gone edge to edge, but then I'd have had strange no bits. Come, yeah. Straight edge on there now, so I'm going to do a nice okay. start with a nice glue in my, in my card again. I'm work out the rest of it when I turn it over. So if you're doing crafting at home and you're using your dining table and you don't happen to have a white clean table or you're using other bits and pieces, these blue mats, which are very similar to um, silicon baking mats that you can buy to put in the oven and are heat proof, um, you can buy from a certain online retailer um, that has smiley paste packaging. Ah, oh. <laughs> the rainforest there. <laughs> Um, but they're really good because you can just wipe them clean. Wipe clean, got my pen. Where we're going to put our folds and bits and pieces to um, push our pockets out. Um, so clearly, I'm going to have to patch the inside, but hopefully, it will all work quite well. So, I'll go down the top. Find that more quickly it does, yeah, it does. It does seem to. Um, and obviously, if you're in a rush, you can use one of these, which is a heat tool. Um, but um, but yeah, it does. It does seem to. Uh, it, it seems to adhere faster. Yeah. It seems to. Yeah, you know, sometimes I like to see the because I like the, the, the fluidity of it. Yeah. 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 Quickly, yeah. yeah. Now that I've discovered that the <laughs> Mod Podge comes in many, 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 many styles, <laughs> I've recently purchased um, antique mat. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. What's finished you have with antique? Mat, you get antique that kind mat. of, yeah, kind of, <laughs> it, it, it is matte, but you kind of get that aged, yellowy. So kind of great for doing old photos and um, that kind of decoupage stuff, really. Just, um, yeah, really kind of quite interesting. Um, we've got the glitter one, which we sealed some shoes in. Have a park. Yeah. yeah, and an outdoor one. So you, you know, you know, like when you, um, if you want to paint. Um, 
if you yeah if you want to paint a pot and you haven't used outdoor acrylic you can seal it in outdoor mod podge and it um seals all the colors you can get one for ceramics so you're doing your ceramic painting and you can just seal it and then it um and then goes in the dishwasher you're doing your ceramic painting this is called um, budget and budget. this is definitely called budget and budget Lovely. They're all involved. More glue. Don't be, don't be afraid about gluing over the top of what you've laid down because it just kind of helps to seal it. So we'll just carry on cutting pieces of paper to fit them into our folder until we're happy with the overall image. Come back into the large enough. No. I haven't. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. i with English all the time. So another, another nice straight edge on here. I love that sound. Yeah. Right, so once you're happy with your folds, then again you start gluing. Yeah. 
But in the process of finding the word wrong, I'm not have ended up with something close to sort of fine samples of wallpaper. Very useful for crafting. Oh, my We may have gone to uh, to, to a well-known home decorating uh, store and kept ourselves in samples just for the express purpose of. Of course, we could possibly condone it if we did like that. No. To be fair, if I ever get a car and I'm trying to be decorating it in a wallpaper because who doesn't want to draw wallpaper? Or brick. Oh, yeah, the brick is mine. I did find because my mum likes her cottage kitchen, mm. but the wallpaper we have at home is. I still haven't decorated the kitchen basically because I was waiting to do it, and, but I will need help doing it because it's a big kitchen. And then we went into lockdown. So I bought the wallpaper, <laughs> I haven't actually done it yet. Um, I can see that wallpaper disappearing into a craft activity and being repurchased at some point no, in the future. No, no, no. I'm trying to do the right one. You can probably get it. It has that sort of old cottage. It's new cottage. Who doesn't love new cottage? Great. So now we need a nice sheet to go on the inside that's nice and neat. It's big enough for my random strap. Okay, so I'm sorry. 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 i am I think the key is some palace, the southern mall scenes, and the general rather starting and starting and what's the This does take quite a lot of glue, but don't be worried to slap it on, and it, it works just as well with PVA. Once we finish covering this, it will all be a little damp. So it'll probably be just about time to leave it to dry and then come back later to finish it off. Always the edges that get you. Yes. 
this, it doesn't matter because this is the, the map module, this actually when it dries won't show it anyway, but I am going to go over it later with the, um, the glossy one. So, so what we've got so far is we have that's the outside of our folder. Um, yeah, so that's the outside of our folder. We're going to put something, um, we're going to put a hole through it and put some ribbon on it so that we can tie out later on. Um, and once this section's dry, we'll seal down. Um, this pocket just on the one side so it's open on this side. Um, I think I might do it now. So that's done. And then we just leave this all to dry nicely and then come back at four o'clock and we will finish it off. So hopefully see you all later. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, hopefully your folder is now dry, mine is. Um, and I just want to show you how we can finish it off. Now you can personalize this with um, whatever you've um, got to hand at home, whether you've got some pages cut, pieces cut out of magazines or um, things that you might have cut out of stencils or anything that you've painted or colored, just anything to kind of personalize it. And then we're going to put a ribbon on it to tie it up um, and finish it off. Um, if you like watching this, if you, if you want to be more involved in more craft things, then check out the website. Um, we'd be grateful of a donation. There is a donate button on the website, so please feel free. But other than that, we'll carry on with, uh, with this um, folder. So while my folder was drying, I cut another piece of the um, of the wallpaper and sat and coloured it in um, with some some pens. So I've decided that I'm going to put that um, on the inside of my folder here. So I'm going to glue that on in a second. Um, but I've also got um, these pieces that I cut out um, from some dies that I have at home, and that I'm going to going to add to my folder to decorate it. So same thing again. It's just whack the glue on. Oh. And get uh, get sticking. So again, just going to completely cover it with glue, and then pop the image down where you want it to be. Seal around the edges. So I'm going to put. I've got a lady walking a dog. Because this die is particularly intricate, I'm actually just going to paste the background and stick her on. Um, but as I said, it dries. You can't once it's dry, you can't see it anyway. She's so delicate. She doesn't want to stick. More glue. People that might be new to this team, what do you mean by dye? Um, a die is um, generally made of metal and it cuts patterns and pictures uh, into paper and other fabrics. Um, there are various uh, die cutting machines on the market. Most of the handheld ones operate on a roller pressure system uh, and you have a couple of plates uh, generally made of acrylic that you sandwich your um, paper and your die together, roll them through the machine, and um, it then cuts the images for you. Um, there are electronic ones on the market that are slightly more expensive, but you can get a die cutting machine for less than 50 pounds now, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah the little ones. Um, and dies themselves, you can generally pick them up um, quite cheaply, or again, you can spend a lot of money on them. Um, it just kind of depends how how involved or how much you want to spend on them, a bit like most things really. Um, but yeah, so the, the, these ones I cut on my um, my Sizzix machine earlier on. Um, they're quite pretty. Again, 
Let's have a bit of glue on. Put my die on. Die cut, I should say. And then I'm going to go over the top of it with PVA just to make sure that everything's caught. And it will dry clear. So I'm not worried about um, I've got a bit of glue on the edge. Yeah, so we've got those, they they will naturally dry, and that's how the fold is going to look when it's um, when it's all closed up. Um, I'm just going to use a hole punch now just to um, to punch a hole in here and tie some uh, tie some ribbon in. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to do that a bit later. And what I'm going to do now is to completely cover this paper in my glossy PVA. If you've, if you've only got um, normal PVA, you can still do it the same, um, just to seal the whole thing. Um, I actually do have the glossy one, so I'm just going to do that. Only doing the outside in the gloss. Um, you can do the inside as well if you want to. And again, you need to leave this time to dry. You can make a folder like this for taking homework to school, for keeping sentimental letters in, for just as something pretty to have on your stationery shelf. And yes, it's used some blue and it's used a bit of leftover wallpaper. Um, and a bit, as I said, a bit of smiley face packaging. We haven't had to go to a stationery company and lay out money, which is always useful. Open this part out because it's the outside that I want. I'm just going to keep painting on glossy blue. Being wallpaper, this is fairly well sealed anyway. If you decided to do this with wallpaper and um, with wrapping paper, some wrapping paper is obviously very thin and doesn't take too kindly to getting wet. So if you use thin paper, it's just just make sure you leave plenty of drying time in between each layer that you apply. Or equally, you could do it with you could decoupage it with um, tissue papers. You could do it with fabric. Just anything that you've got to hand to make your hold on. You see it's all gone a kind of a milky white colour. But as it dries, that disappears and it will just leave a nice glossy finish, which will be quite hard wearing. So I'll just pop this to one side for a minute to dry. And then I can talk you through some of the other ones or I should talk to the lady that made one of the other ones, perhaps. So the first one that I made um, was 
um, in response to something called a happy mail that um, the chairperson of the, um, of the art centre um, decided to do as a creative thing uh, whilst we were on lockdown. And the theme of this was steampunk. Um, so I had some paper and I covered my folder in paper. We'd been supplied with little pieces of craft work um, or things that had been cut out. So um, Fiona supplied us with pulps that were die cut. Little pieces of craft work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I found an image of a corset that I really liked, so I drew it out and, and painted it, and then cut it out to use as the uh, the, the doer upper of my folder. Um, and then on the back, um, I found an image on the internet that I really liked, uh, so I printed it out and um, painted it before again sticking it on. Um, and I've stuck small pieces of paper that were also supplied with our craft pack as a decoupage and you can see this the shiny finish on this is because I used this same glossy PVA and this is just before that it was just standard paper um, and then I used some fabric trim to to edge it and then this one was made by the lady in question so Fiona do you want to talk us through this one? I can talk you through that so yes this was uh, I made this because I went to India back in February and I was something that I can use for my mental health and something to make you look back at and some of the things that I bought in India so I was able to keep on the front of the peacock um which is upside down currently I think is it upside down yeah yes yes, yes. so there we go um that's a peacock I bought that in one of the Indian markets over there um and then the tricky papers were from Hobbycraft actually um which was a nice uh, pack of I think it was eastern opulence it was called uh and that was paper pack and then bits of sari silk as my edging and the, the ribbon to close it and then inside I kept the pocket this is an Amazon um, package I think I've got a book or something inside it and like you you have cut the bits and pieces off I've kept one of them to make it into a pocket of rip up and, and made a tag to go inside it can you pull out there yeah um, and then I also used in the middle I've got a piece of wadding and that's actually fabric which I I've got a felt piece of peacock and then I've stitched lots of lovely sequins that I bought in India um, and I've stuck it inside there and that's a beautiful and then I can put lots of other bits and pieces in there if I want to that's just a, I think that as a memory box really I think I can slide anything else inside so that shows you just what you can do with this cast off packaging um, and hopefully you will all make something just as pretty um, this is actually still drying, but I'm, I can still show you the next piece on. And um, as Fiona was just saying, I've left a pocket in this one. Um, now what I'm going to do is to um, is to hole punch here. Now obviously, if you're lucky enough to have, yeah, we're going to use a hole punch here to I put the holes in to thread my ribbon through. If you're lucky enough to have um, eyelets. Um, and the like at home then obviously you can uh, you can do that but I don't have those so I'm just going to I'm just going to thread my ribbon through with any luck and um, the holes that I've made and at some point find out that I've threaded my holes completely wrong So now when this is closed up, um, I could put a set of holes on this side as well, but I've decided that I'm going to do it slightly differently. So I'm going to find a pair of scissors. So a pair of scissors. Just cut the length of ribbon. I don't know how these things work. I've got some. I knew I had some. I just didn't find them. So, so whilst it's still drying, you can actually see 
Um, so we have a we have a pocket, as in Fiona's journal, that we've got that we can drop our papers in. Um, if you wanted to, you could also put um, hole punch along here, and you can actually buy little rings to um, to like a as in like a, a ring binder. You could actually put them in the corners so that you could you could use it almost like a ring ring binder. Um, but essentially, we're just going to. Bring our ribbon round and then tie it as we want to tie it. So, um, nothing left to do really. Just wait for it to dry before I can actually uh, actually finish it off. And um, have another couple of images if I wanted to. Just I could keep kind of adding decoupage images, um, or just leave it as is and wait for it to dry. So, I hope you've enjoyed this session. Um, this has been a lot quicker than the earlier part, really nothing to it other than having glue and paper and a bit of um, leftover packaging. Um, but as I said earlier, if you kind of enjoy doing this kind of thing, keep checking out the Southern Maltings website. Um, there's always random things to do on there. Um, hopefully we'll soon be doing some, uh, some craft activities um, and putting out some more, um, some more Zoom uh, sessions for you all. Um, if you want to, as I said before, if you want to donate, find the um, Southern Postings, uh, Southern Postings, Southern Maltings website. Uh, and hopefully by the time this goes out on YouTube, we might actually have a link down below for you to click on. Um, and we'll try and put the list of the, the things that you need to do it. Um, thanks for watching, if anyone has. Um, bye now.